He's called King Ezekiel. What? Yeah. King Ezekiel. <laughs> In a post-apocalyptic world, you don't have to be descended from royalty to be a king. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we will explore the comic book origins of The Walking Dead's King Ezekiel. I am King Ezekiel. Welcome to the kingdom. For this video, we have chosen primarily to follow the storyline which unfolded in 2013's The Walking Dead numbers 108 and 110. Like the other human characters in The Walking Dead comics, King Ezekiel barely scraped by and survived following the massive zombie outbreak. Of course, staying alive is a bit easier when you have a giant freaking tiger for a pet. The larger-than-life King Ezekiel was introduced to The Walking Dead world during the March to War storyline. Rick was gathering up some forces to try to destroy everyone's favorite psychopath Negan, and fellow survivor Paul Jesus Monroe suggested they bring King Ezekiel into the fold. So Rick and Jesus journeyed to Ezekiel's enclave, which was called, wait for it, the kingdom. <laughs> the kingdom is favored by your presence once more. They were met by what passed for knights on horseback in Walking Dead Land, who agreed to take them for an audience with the king. Ezekiel, an African-American with a flowing mane and a cane, and with that aforementioned tiger, greeted them with the kind of pomp and ego that befits a ruler. From his hobbled-together throne room on an old stage, he told them that he also hated Negan. Ezekiel had been waiting for the right time to strike, and His Royal Highness decided an alliance of their forces would be a good idea. And it just so happened that he had a mole in Negan's camp that could prove very valuable to them. Not a great deal is known about Ezekiel's past prior to this introduction, but when Michonne met him and found his Behold I Am Royalty act a bit hard to accept, he ended up telling her a little bit more about where he came from. First though, he demonstrated his real reason for carrying the cane. It served as a way of disguising his sword. And he also proved he had a good eye for seeing through other people's deceptions. The sweet and innocent act you've been doing. It's quite clever. It worked on me. Before the world had turned upside down, Ezekiel had been a zookeeper as well as an amateur actor. He had raised his tiger, Shiva, from the time that she was a cub. As an adult, she had injured herself at the zoo and he saved her, earning her loyalty ever since. After the zombie plague spread, Ezekiel made his way to the zoo and freed Shiva. They traveled together and people who met them assumed that he was a fearless leader. He took on the persona of King to give them hope and make them feel protected. But deep down, he had insecurities about his fitness to lead. Initially, both Rick and Michonne had some reservations about King Ezekiel. His theatricality was a bit much, and they weren't sure whether he could be trusted, but his desire to defeat their mutual enemy seemed real and sincere, and they needed to trust that he was really on their side in the war against Negan. After all, when going up against a dangerous and ruthless villain like him, beggars can't be choosers when it comes to allies. King Ezekiel has the kind of outsized personality that translates really well into other media, and his theatrical manner proves a welcome respite from all the grimness in The Walking Dead be sure to keep an eye out for him in the AMC series. After all, every king needs some adoring subjects. Are you a fan of the self-proclaimed King Ezekiel? For more awesome comic book origins, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You really gotta try one of these. 